paper came out it went absolutely viral it, it was headlines in every media WEF launched their 1t.org um, the UN decade on ecosystem restoration was initiated but it also came with downsides because it was also a moment where greenwashing exploded this idea that you could just plant a few trees and ignore the very real urgent real and urgent challenges of cutting emissions and conserving the ecosystems we have
this topic of scale is actually underpinning a lot of the political debate and the controversy around nature. Because whenever people try to fix nature at scale, that is when dangerous decisions happen. Nature is inherently a local issue. What we need to restore nature is have millions, hundreds of millions of local communities being empowered by the nature they depend on. They're not just sticks of carbon. These are diverse, thriving ecosystems, and it's the biodiversity within them that allows them to capture and store all that carbon in the long term as a wonderful byproduct. A trillion trees to me means millions of local communities being economically empowered by the biodiversity they depend on. That could be agroforestry, it could be um, ecotourism and conservation, it could be sustainable silviculture or rewilding programs. There's a thousand ways in which nature can recover, but mass planting of trees has nothing to do with it and that needs to be removed from any national or international um, nature-based solution. One ever greenwashes their back garden. No one's planting seven apple trees to, to greenwash. They're doing it because the local community wants it. No one's rewilding, um, you know, animals across a landscape to greenwash. They're doing it because of the ecological integrity and the value it brings to the people who depend on it. Those are the projects we need to be investing in. Thank you.